the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. There are several people in need of the touch of God. People talk about anointing all the time, they want to step into deeper dimensions. They want to tap into the wave of revival that is sweeping across cities. And by the way, I want you to know that there is a mighty move of God that is happening across the continent of Africa, specifically Nigeria. Um, away with all those blind talks that people talk as if nothing is happening. It takes the eye of the spirit to see the formation. There is a mighty, mighty move of the spirit. An awakening that is sweeping across. And what a joy it is to participate in contributing our quota to that, that, that unstoppable tsunami that will sweep across the nations of the earth. The, the word of God is full of prophecies that points to those seasons. That a time will come in the dealings of God with men where they will be able to tap into higher dimensions of his possibility. They will be able to cause his glory to be revealed across territories in measures and dimensions that have not been previously known. So I want you to believe up front that we are a people who believe all of God and we are a people who have aligned ourselves to allowing God find full expression. There is no limit to the dimension of God that can be revealed. Every time God looks limited, the limitation is not his capacity. It is our inability to understand his system and to align enough to bring down, to be able to host all the multifaceted possibilities that are contained in him. Are we together now? And tonight there are several cases. Right from home I began to see several situations that touched my heart and I said, Lord, you can't let your people go that way. And the Lord put something in my heart that I just want to share with us very briefly and then we'll pray. I have a passion and a commitment to helping people have an encounter, a true encounter, not just a noise-making encounter, an encounter with a definite result that you will leave and it will be very clear that heaven found expression in your life, heaven found expression in your situation, heaven found expression that your life will be an epistle to let people know that Jesus is not limited in any way. If you believe that, say amen. amen. Hallelujah. 1 John chapter 5 and verse 4. Apostle John taught us something very remarkable. 1 John chapter 5 and then verse 4. And he said, For whatsoever is born of God, whatsoever is born of God has capacity to overcome the world. Are we together now? That's the expression there. Whatever is born of God has capacity to overcome the world. But then he says that that overcoming is engaged through a system. The dear lady who led prayer here taught us about spiritual intelligence. Are we together? Every time you see possibilities in scripture. Now there are two dimensions I've taught you of accessing the reality of scripture. There is the prophetic dimension. Realities as far as God's dimension is concerned. But there is the experience of it. Where it becomes manifest in your life on the strength of your engaging the required mysteries that demonstrate your partnership with God to actualize it. Are we together now? So here the Bible says, whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. The rendition there is has capacity enshrined in it is the composition to overcome this system and all the limitations that come with it. And then he says, and this is the victory. In other words, this is the system wherewith the victory was designed to find expression. He says, even our faith. Even our 
faith. Even our faith. It takes faith in this kingdom to be able to produce realities that have been represented in scripture. Realities that are capable of being our testimony. The fact that the Bible records them does not mean they will happen automatically i think this is one of the biggest challenges to the body of christ i don't think we are unaware of the provisions that are guaranteed from scripture but the systems everybody say systems say it one more time systems the systems of the kingdom that were built around those possibilities the inability to access what system was designed to produce what outcome will make us continue to look at scripture and believe they are there but never walk in the experience of it it is god's desire not only that we read the bible and see possibilities written therein but that our lives become epistles that those realities that are represented in the bible must find expression in my life and your life when the bible says that a believer should walk in miracles signs and wonders we can read it we can write books about it but there is it's an entirely different thing to engage the systems required to bring that individual into an experience of it are we together the bible says for instance they shall lay hands on the sick many people have tried it they laid hands on the sick and the sick were not healed every time you try a thing and it does not work there is something you do not understand about what you studied that's why it takes the spirit of revelation ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 the prayer of paul to the church you don't have to turn there he cried they were born again they were believers but he knew that they needed to be assisted by a dimension of the operation of the holy spirit otherwise they would never enter into the experience of the kingdom Nicodemus came to Jesus by night, chapter 3 of John, and he says, verse 1, Rabbi, he says, we know that thou art a man sent from God, for no man can do these things. And then he said unto him in verse 3, he says, verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, listen carefully, he says he cannot see the kingdom. Then the next verse, Nicodemus says, how can, how can a man be born for a second time? Can he enter back into his mother's womb? And then verse 5, he opens up, up to another dimension. He says, verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man, listen, be born of what? Water and the spirit. Then he says he cannot enter. So he talks of seeing the kingdom. An awareness of the possibilities that are there you know that there is a provision in the dealings of God with men for the sick to be healed there is a provision in the dealings of God with men where men are immune from the ability of sicknesses to touch them there is a provision where we are lifted above the grip of of, of demons and devils but it's one thing to have that awareness listen believers but it's another thing to understand the systems and the mysteries that were attached to be able to cause us to walk in the experience of that outcome so we we hold several scriptures that we cannot defend with our lives there is a possibility for restoration but what is the key that is attached i am passionate about revealing to believers the mysteries that are responsible for causing spiritual realities to become their experience just like shortly we are going to be celebrating the victory miracles upon miracles but the issue is not just an anointed man the issue is that underlying these miracles and testimonies and the manifestations of the grace and the power of god are vessels that have aligned themselves through understanding you see most of us um the theology about faith listen carefully the theology about faith that is being communicated as powerful as it is may limit us from walking in the experience of the power the grace and the revelation of all that is contained in god faith is not just believing unseen things um they don't have to be unseen faith is not just believing on seeing things so that they will manifest that's a dimension of it 
but faith listen true bible faith the foundation for true bible faith starts with an encounter an encounter without an encounter you will not have true bible faith an encounter is not a vision an encounter is an experience that is initiated by the holy spirit that causes a spiritual truth a reality the reality of a scripture to be crystallized in your heart the end of an encounter is conviction the end of an encounter is conviction You'll never be able to walk in a dimension where you are guessing and hoping and wondering. No, sir. Encounters are necessary for believers. That's why the Holy Spirit was given to us. The spirit of truth. Are we together now? So he introduces encounters in our lives. You can read the bible and quote a scripture it doesn't mean you've had an encounter with that scripture you may even learn it and know it of heart sincerely speaking it has not been released in your heart but when the holy ghost breathes upon it it does something to you and that scripture comes alive it's called an encounter occasionally it may be backed up by visionary experiences to strengthen your conviction but the end of encounters is that you get to a point of persuasion, unbending resolve, persuasion about the possibility of God as far as that matter is concerned. Are we blessed? Second Timothy, please, chapter 1 and verse 12. Let's look at Second Timothy 1 verse 12, the B part. Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 12. The B part says, For I know whom I have believed. Everybody say, I know whom I have believed. Now, you went to school, understand that construction. It didn't say, I have believed. Uh -uh. I know whom. So it's talking about a person first. I had an encounter, and that encounter caused me to believe that person and everything that proceeds from him. Are we together now? And then he says, And I am persuaded that he that person i've had an encounter with is able 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 an understanding of a man's ability an understanding of god's ability i have had an encounter with him i have had an encounter with his word so when i read and he says they shall lay hands on the sick it's not just story it's not just religion this is the foundation of true bible faith so there are no options in it again you know that it is within his power to change my situation you don't say well lord i will try you let me hope that you will work today if you don't work no 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 there is a level a level of resilience you see the depth of your encounter determines the strength of your convictions the depth of your encounter determines the strength of your convictions it's obvious from the way we live and act as believers that there is a void there is a lapse in conviction and this is a product of um the haze that is around our encounters with the word of god not the reading of it not the memory of it but that there is a gap it is obvious if i look at this gentleman right now and i tell you do you know you are sitting on the ground he's not going to pray about it he knows he's sitting on a seat are we together he's had an encounter with that seat his his even his physical senses have have responded to that reality he knows he's sitting no matter how i try to sway him he has entered a dimension of resolve he knows he's sitting on a seat if i tell him this seat is going to break he says no not just that i, I have seen the dimensions i understand the strength of this seat it can take my weight listen God allows you to vet him and probe him until you find him worth your trust. God does not get angry when you ask him questions that lead to your faith being strengthened. Uh -uh. Mary said, how shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? And the angel took out time to explain. This is how it will happen. Gideon said, Lord, you are sending me to go and fight the Midianites. I need to stand with conviction. I know those guys. They are fierce. And so is it okay if I ask for a sign? It is powerful to stay with God until you are convinced. 
I know that there are people here, pastors who have come from several places. Let me challenge you. Do not make boastful statements until they come from the strength of an encounter. It will destroy your life. You will destroy your ministry. You will lack explanations. You will schedule a season of untold suspicion in your life. I always say never stand before Pharaoh until you have seen the burning bush. Say encounters. Bible faith starts with encounters. Encounters produce convictions. Convictions now allow you to act and take steps. It is that step that is called faith. Hello. Believing is not faith. Believing is part of the process that leads to faith. Faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction of who God is and the integrity of his word. That's faith. Until action is taken, there is no faith. Are we together now? I've always given this example. Um, let me use you, John. Hold on. I'm going to stand there. Stand there. Just stand there. I'm going to call John. I want you to answer me, but don't come. Is that all right? John, come. Say, I'm coming. Has he come? So as far as I'm concerned, you have not obeyed me. Because this should be the reward for your obedience. Now, you have answered that you are coming. But you have not come. I interpret your not coming as a sign that you, you are expressing concern about my reliability. You are wondering if I really have this. But if I say, John, come and you come. Come. That step of faith puts pressure on my integrity. If I am joking, I better found a way of correcting it. Are we together now? Yes. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 4, listen. The Bible says that one time they were going at the hour of prayer. And then the Bible says that they saw a man who was crippled. Now, they were not stupid. That man was crippled. If you've seen a crippled man, you know that there are no strength in his limbs. Even if he stands, you know that he would take the grace of God. And then the Bible says that he was calling on them to give him arms. And then Peter said, silver and gold have I none. He said, but such as I have. Listen, I give unto you. He says, in the name of Jesus, I come under an authority. I represent a government and I invoke the power that backs that government. And I ask you, if you believe, stand. The Bible says the man was still looking at them. Now, I hope you know the Holy Ghost was already hovering with all his possibilities. But at the mercy of a man who has not manifested faith. And then the Bible says Peter had to help him. Hold my hands. The Bible says Peter held his hands and he leaping, leaping. The power is released at the point of action. It is the action that makes it faith. Not the determination to act. The determination to act helps you to eventually manifest faith. But the faith is only when action is taken. He leaping stood. He leaping stood he would have remained there forever he leaping stood are we together now yes so when 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 you hear the word of god you see this is why the dispensing of the word of god is so important because faith is based on a basis and the basis is not good word. The basis is not good intention. A nice positive statement cannot give you faith. It does not have the capacity to release that. God is only committed to backing what is his word. Are we together now? If it is not consistent with his character and it is not his word, there is no platform. You may act, but you are not acting upon the word. You are acting upon an information. So the word of God comes. And then you hear that word. Listen, like you are hearing right now. And you believe. And the Holy Ghost helps your unbelief. He supplies to you that grace and that enablement. Number one, to consider that God is able. It is within his power to create scenarios around your mind and your spirit that strengthens your conviction. He can remind you and say, lest you doubt, 
have you forgotten that January this year something was about to happen and all of these anchors together to build your faith because a response will be needed shortly from you and that response must be on its on the standpoint of conviction everybody say conviction how do you look at someone who is barren and tell the person go it takes a while for pregnancy to show and that woman believes it's not when she meets with her husband that she gets pregnant no the husband only gives the word manifestation right and she leaves or you are seeing someone like some of you are sick now and then when it's time to say be healed all of a sudden how do you explain someone having a lump or a growth or a cancer and at the speed a fraction of a second is gone brothers and sisters that's what faith does i want you to believe this the bible says this is the victory this is the system where we believers command victory as an experience by engaging their encounters produce persuasion lord you are not a joker lord you believe I, I believe you your word is true your word is real you are you are not trying to flatter me you gave jesus christ that would not be a joke on the cross and on the strength of that lord i am willing to act listen the final step is action but not blind action it has to be the action required by god this is where we miss it again are we together confession is a generic action that ought, it is the manifestation of the spirit of faith the bible says we having the same spirit of faith as it is written i believe and therefore i speak so we believe and therefore we speak are we together speaking is a generic action but there are many possibilities we want to produce in our lives that require actions that must be added in addition to speaking for instance the action that is required for your heavens to be open is that you bring before the Lord your tithe. Are we together now? No matter how much you confess your heavens opening, you must take that action. And if you take that action not believing, you just dropped money. You drop 10% of an amount. It's not a charm. The power is released through understanding. I am coming because I have an understanding. I have a comprehension of what I am doing. And Lord, I thank you because you are my high priest standing in heaven. Hebrews 7 and verse 8, the Bible says, Here on earth men gave tithes, but in heaven he received them. Talking about the system with which God performs that function of his office that is in the order of Melchizedek. Right? Like he received the tithe of Abraham and spoke a blessing upon Abraham. So he, our Melchizedek, our high priest, receives that tithe and authorizes that the heavens be open and that the blessing is activated on our lives. But that will never happen just by dropping money. It's not about the money. There is an understanding. So your tithing is the specific action that is tied to that open heavens. Are we together now? you pray and fast it is spiritual but it will not replace the action wherewith that result was tied to so it is important that we have understanding to know what action has been defined by god's wisdom that is tied to the outcome we desire are we together one time jesus prayed for someone who was blind and the bible says in this case he spat on the ground and then made sputum out of it and put it in his eyes and said go wash at the pool called Siloam that is sent now that was the action if that man turned and started praising God and danced there for one day he would never be open he the eyes would not be open he was taking action but the action was not the one required are we together now Mary understood this and said whatever he tells you to do do not whatever you think he wants to be done so it is important that you find out what is the system of this partnership as far as this is concerned i want multiplication i want increase is it a possibility in god yes it is now i believe it but what is the system tied what does god require that a man do as a symbol of his partnership with him to actualize that dimension of reality we must find out 
So when we search scripture, we are not just trying to know, we are finding our place of partnership in scripture. When you find it, then you rejoice because you have found the key to committing God. This, that action is what we call faith. And the Bible says it is the victory that overcomes. Hmm. The victory that overcomes. So what is the key to your healing? The Bible says they came to hear and to be healed. There is no healing when the word does not come for that. And when the word of God comes, the power of God is present to heal. And then the word comes. But when the word comes, it does not heal you automatically. The word comes and somewhere along the line, it produces conviction. After conviction, the word will compel obedience. Either through an instruction or whatever it is. There are conditions for reception. When you come for a meeting like this, there is a condition to receive. Number one is to believe in the Lord. Number two is to believe the vessel he will use. Believing the Lord alone will not give you a miracle. No, sir. It will always come from God through men to you. Are we together? Jesus went to certain cities and the Bible says he could not do mighty works. That was not the limitation of his power. It was not the limitation of his spirit. But the inaccurate understanding of the people to create an alignment that can afford him to move in the dimension that they desire. Tonight, listen, ladies and gentlemen, God did not gather us here to waste our time. It is within his power to change our lives. It is within his power to wipe our tears. Are we together now? Seated here tonight are people who truly, truly require all kinds of miracles. There are people here to resuscitate their spiritual life. It's like, it's like, it's like a man in ICU. A lot has gone haywire. The prayer life, spiritual life, and you're trusting God that there be a true encounter that refires your love for God. You must understand the object of your desire. And you must understand the system that helps you achieve that miracle. There are people here tonight in response to delay and stagnation. Nothing seems to work. Nothing. It is a bit comforting if other doors open and others are closed. It will inspire you to trust that others. But it's a terrible thing when all doors in your life close. Family closed. Finances closed your body everything closed there are people here because of an acute state of limitation invisible barriers around your life limitation is not retardation limitation is that a a mark has been created that you cannot cross so you rise and you get to a certain place and there is something that pegs you at that level and you never rise I watch it all the time pastors leaders business people individuals helplessly limited sincere but they are limited tonight the God I serve will take that limit away there are people here with sicknesses diseases infirmities real sicknesses Probably with death sentences from different medical hospitals. And um, maybe they've told you you have a few months to live. You have a few weeks to live. Now, and of course, we have a lot of doctors here. I respect their opinion. That's their opinion. is their educated opinion. But tonight, whose report will you believe? I believe in Jesus. I believe in his words. There are people here with all kinds of marital and family issues. Husband is about to go. Wife is about to go. Children are haywire and they are trusting Lord would you give us order. Of course it is within his power to bring sanity and order. I mentioned these things to build your faith to help you know that your situation is within the scope of God's understanding and he can deal with it. Because sometimes we stay so long 
in the decadence of our situations that we wonder if God is aware that such a thing can happen to men. Let me tell you, the God we serve is all-knowing. All-knowing. And it is within his power to solve that problem tonight. There are people here with all kinds of barrenness. All kinds. Biological barrenness and all sorts of unfruitfulness in different areas. Probably trusting God for children and all of that. I came back from Abuja um, in the course of the week and um, when I went there I was, I was counseling a few people and then I saw a young lady, I think a, a couple or so, I can't remember exactly, and they were excited. The last time I was there, the woman, the lady had been, they'd been trusting God for a child, all kinds of funny medical reports, you know, she had something in her womb, her tubes, I don't know what, what they gave all kinds of stories. And there she had given birth, you know, to a very bouncing, healthy a child and she was telling me the news and laughing listen be careful what you believe it is within your power to choose what you believe nothing forces itself on you you can choose this is a wonderful thing this is a fact but i choose to reject it it's a choice anything that is not consistent with the counsel of god it is within your power to choose to reject it are we together there are people here under all kinds of academic and career challenges. No job, no lifting, all kinds of strange occurrences that are not consistent with God's desire. How about demonic patterns, mysterious occurrences in the lives of people? Patterns that you cannot account for. God wants to step in. There are people here and I believe this probably affects a lot of people, especially with the recession. The reality of lack and poverty. Lord, what is the way out? Lord, what is the way out? I can't keep struggling from hand to mouth. We've shared extensively. There are all kinds of teachings about the economic system of the kingdom. And I would plead that you get those teachings. They are free. Because when it comes to prosperity, the gospel has to be taught. There is an understanding that must be built in your mind. Now God can give you breakthrough as a communication of his might and mercy. But you are never established financially through breakthrough. It will take an understanding to build a system that lifts you out of the realm and the grip of poverty forever. Say amen. amen. There are people here trusting God for direction. You have come confused, not knowing what to do. You thought you had God, but right now you are in the middle of total confusion and God must speak for you. I want to welcome you because in his presence there is direction. And finally, all of these are lists that the Spirit of God was just writing out for me as I, I mean just stating out as I, I, I wrote them out. And lastly, there are people here trusting God for very strong impartations. What is an impartation? A transference of possibilities. Transference of possibilities. Impartation is as real as the chair you are sitting on. You can transfer possibilities. Possibilities also come with the alignment that makes those dimensions of the anointing function freely transference of possibilities. See, the thing with the anointing is, if it is there, it is there. If it is not there, it is not there. It's as simple as that. If you are not sure, it is not there. It's like a woman who is pregnant. For a while, she may doubt if she's pregnant or not. But the time comes, it becomes very clear, very obvious. Regardless of where your request falls in this, I want you to know that the God of heaven, who has gathered us tonight, will visit you and give you testimonies. It's going to be a very quick walk tonight. The Lord is going to be healing the sick. The Lord is going to be setting the captives free. And like I told us last week, it is also an anointing service. And I don't, I don't do anointing services carelessly, but there are instructions that God gave me. The anointing oil that will be used tonight, the Lord asked me, it's been with me since uh, I think yesterday. I prayed with it all through until um, it was only this morning while I was coming that I carried it and brought it. There is a heavy grace. Oil does not anoint. The oil has to be anointed itself by a, a vessel who is anointed. Nothing is anointed on its own. It has to be anointed to become a platform. Are we together now? Tonight, what is your responsibility? Be convicted. 
be persuaded that God is able all that has happened before now the prayers the testimonies and all of that is to build your faith some of you are coming here for the first time you've heard about the miracles many of you have a cynical attitude of doubting men of God everybody you see walking in unusual dimensions of the anointing we have joined naysayers around town to think everybody is fake everybody is a devil everybody is using charm you know I humorously said it last week uh, even if you use charm the condition to carry the kind of power you see even through a charm is a condition that you have to think twice people just say it as if you just collect a charm and put it in your pocket no sir God gave gifts to men the gifts are not talents the gifts are people he anointed people by his predetermined counsel so that they can be platforms to be able to communicate his possibilities to people I'm honored every time I have the opportunity to minister. There are people streaming from all over the world with different issues. Several nations, at least 47 or so nations of the world, if I'm not mistaken, connecting. And God cannot be joking. He's not playing games with us. Are we together? Everybody say, I believe. Say, Lord, tonight, I believe you. I know you are able and I trust you to step in in the name of Jesus it will be for you like day and night just all of a sudden you will find out that that door that has been closed maybe forever listen it doesn't take time time is not in the equation I've taught you this time is never in the equation the anointing of the spirit is not a suggestion the anointing of the spirit is God's possibility at work in men that causes men to manifest results they were not born with. Are we together now? We are talking about a dimension that is superior to any intelligence of men. This is not some kind of superior science. This is not superior spiritism. We are talking of God showing up in the scene, standing face to face with a man's barrier. Hallelujah. I want you to be angry tonight and insist. Thank you. And say, Lord, that door must be open. I was so touched and blessed during the prayer session. Have you experienced the reality of triumph? I mean, there are people here who, whose testimonies have been tearsome. Tonight, you can activate something that will make your six to eight hours spent here to be worth the while that you get up in the morning and within three days one door opens another door opens another dimension of encounter all of a sudden hunger all of a sudden you step back to your church and fire on the altar i mean just by stepping and people are rising up from wheelchairs and miracles signs and wonders you bless people you shake someone's hand and all through that day a door opens you introduce something i believe it i believe it the lord wants to turn you to literally be supernatural supernatural not just in this blind talk of supernatural that does not produce results literally that your life becomes a testament that they would look at you like they did Paul and Barnabas and they called them Zeus and Hermes, Greek gods because they, they discerned that this level of result cannot happen with men. Listen, believe it. Believe it, brothers and sisters. Yokes are breakable. Causes are destroyable. Limitations are breakable. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sicknesses are healable anointings are impartable there is nothing that you desire don't make it look as though God is mising his power no he is able to stretch his hands and do mighty things but you must believe tonight we love ourselves but everybody is going to have to stand and contend and say Lord I have seen a dimension of your grace but I must step into it Lord I have seen a dimension of breakthrough and favor but it's not yet a reality in my life. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. Every
every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome, you overcome Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be you broken the You wear the victor's crown Hold on You overcome You know why I started singing that song? I saw a crown that's why I started singing it. Listen, you see, the way the Spirit of God works is that He reveals the dimension of God that He wants to make manifest in the midst of the people. Are we together now? That's why I raised that song. You need to learn how to partner with the supernatural. He shows you like a luring. This is the dimension. It's up to you to respond. Yeah, Lord, we receive the Spirit and the Bride telling the Word to come. The word has revealed his intention so the spirit communicates to the bride and the bride in partnership with the spirit says come come lord jesus come miracles come breakthroughs come deliverances come open doors come speed come speed loose chains loose bands god is a mighty god do not allow your situations diminish the power of god it doesn't take time the level of grace it takes to produce your results is available mm. it's available I've taught you that there are three dimensions for reception in the spirit number one is through encounters when you have an encounter something is deposited into you number two by obedience to principles there is a dimension of god's power that is deposited in principles whether a believer or an unbeliever whoever activates those principles that dimension of his power is released immediately like the power of seed time and harvest is not for christians a dimension of god's power was encapsulated in that principle but the third dimension of reception is alignment through a man's covenant with god men have covenant with god not old and new their dealings with God have brought them to a point where God has vowed a vow on their behalf and you can stand upon the platform of their dealings with God and receive realities that your faith level cannot afford every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome, you overcome Let me tell you something that happened yesterday I didn't plan to share it but, but something happened I was sleeping and I had a dream I thought it was a dream Yesterday now While I was sleeping I had a dream and then because I had kept the jar of oil and I opened the cover and then I had a dream now you know I don't share so much of my encounters because there are all kinds of cynical people and I had the, a dream and then the Lord was telling me you know I should how I'm going to pray on the oil that later on we use to minister to you and then something strange happened I just opened my eyes and there was an angel standing at the door my door now now those those experiences are not strange to me you know but this was very unique he stood there and i looked and oil started coming out of my hand and the lord says i should put my hand on this jar this jar and i tell you i was surprised it would almost be maybe the quarter the size of a cup i just put my hand there and i was just praying in the spirit that was the instruction that god gave me gave me that instruction that's why i told you oil does not anoint there is an encounter there is an encounter are we together now there is an encounter and when it began to happen i was i was i was well i wasn't surprised but then when everything was done the angel never even said anything just at my door just stood there and was watching and when it was time i noticed of course my hands were still wet but it didn't seem to be flowing and that was it whether he went through the door went up i don't even know how he left and that was the end of it 
right from the time you know my boys that come to work for me i started sensing that there were going to be visitations of the spirit and i was hurrying up to dismiss them as soon as they left i just locked the door and i sat down and boom my room was full of god's presence and all of that and, and i i when i sat down my eyes were open and all of a sudden i saw gates gates opening like gates very strange gates opening but then I knew that God by that vision was telling me what among other things would happen in the meeting but most importantly what the anointing would do listen ladies and gentlemen the Lord will bring breakthroughs in your life today that will surprise you you believe that rise up on your feet I want you to lift up your voice and pray one minute. You say, Father, I'm set for your visitation. My faith is alive and I believe you. Lift your voice and pray. My faith is alive. I believe you. Jabrandos katapra katalados. Enkreto katalabrande sekatepra katalabadash. Jabrete katepros kodobrandi gedibalash. Jabrandes kariada balada balada bosh. Lord, we receive. We receive. Hallelujah. We are going to be very fast. Tonight is a vigil. I know that, in fact, you can't believe how far time has gone. But I trust God for grace tonight. I want to see how God will grant me grace. And I'll be able to come out to all the overflows. All the overflows one two three by the grace of God and he will grant us grace in the name of Jesus Christ 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 please bring the three people now that the power of God comes I'm seeing an angel walking and touching three people in here all inside here now will you open up the gate yeah. open up the door Will you open up the gate? Open up the door. Open up the gate. Open up the door. Open up the door. Open up the Open up the Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to pray for breakthrough now. Such a strange grace. Strange grace. Strange grace. There are people here who have been tied. It's time to release that grace for breakthrough. And I want you to bring them out. Please don't stop playing. Please, guys, you know this. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Right now, at the count of three, let that breakthrough anointing right now begin to touch and change the lives of people. One, two, three. Take that breakthrough now. Take that breakthrough now. Bring them out. Shapatakata. Step into that dimension. Take it, take it, take a box right at the back. I see the angels of the Lord bringing people into strange levels of breakthrough. Breakthrough. Shapatos kelataria. Mente kotos shotos. E prekete kaya. No limitation. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Breakthroughs. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost, breakthroughs, Shapos Katala Tosia, 
Never be the same. Never be the same. Lift your hands. I see a key hanging in the realm of the spirit. This is access. There are men right now. You are entering into dimensions of possibilities. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. This is a baptism. Keys. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a bunch of keys. Lord Jesus, for your glory, let the closed door open at the count of three. One, two, three. The name that is above all names. Access in the realm of the spirit. Shapato sote lekata. I command access right now by the power of the Holy Ghost access to dimensions access to levels access to possibilities close doors opening the Lord showed me gates and I decree those gates are opening, 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 opening in the name of Jesus. Those gates are opening. No power stands against you tonight. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I decree and declare the opening of strange gates, the opening of strange gates. hallelujah hallelujah we are going to do a quick walk please clear this way for me there are two angels that stand before me now my left and my right and the Lord is asking me to pass round and come I will do that very quickly as I do that the Lord is going to be breaking chains and taking away limitations in the name of Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus miracles 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost supernatural miracles take them out in the name of jesus miracles in the name of jesus miracles 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 by the anointing of the holy ghost miracles in the name of jesus supernatural miracles i release you now i release you now i release you now I release you now. Step into anointings. Step into graces. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the spirit of the living God. There are chains I'm seeing on people's hands. Chains, 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 chains. Chains breaking now. Chains breaking now. Chains breaking now. Get ready. This road, I see chains, 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 chains. Let it break now. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Let it break now, now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles, chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking. Chains breaking. Chains breaking, chains breaking, breaking, breaking. Shado sotosh kalai, rakataka. Let it break now. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands here. I stretch my hands right now. Every chain, in the name of Jesus. This is a miracle service. I command that the chains are broken, 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 broken now, broken now. In the name of Jesus, broken, you can't stand it. That chain breaks now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. 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 The the Holy Ghost. I'm seeing the hand of the Lord, a wind of His Spirit coming here. Lord, what is happening here in the name of Jesus? 
and break it to Sedeleketa, Brata Soto Sopres Kea, and Brataya. I'm seeing someone being taken out of a pit, out of a pit, out of a pit. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, out of a pit, I proclaim it. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and I decree and declare. I decree and declare captivity ended in the name of Jesus. Make a parato gotosh, leke teka ta prakato zotosh, embre teke teka ratosh. I'm seeing a ring in someone's finger. That demonic ring leaves now. That demonic ring leaves now. I see it by the spirit. That demonic ring leaves now. I curse it by the God of heaven. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I see rings, rings. I curse it by the God of heaven. I curse it in the name of Jesus. Can I go out? Those outside, I want you to get ready. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. The Lord is saying I should stretch my hands here. This media place in the name of Jesus. Those here, I want you to lift your hands. No matter where you are, no matter where you are, I want you to believe. As soon as I pass here, no matter what the issue is, the hand of God is about to touch you. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, let there be miracles. Now, I pass this rose. Let there be miracles. Every strange spirit, now, be gone, be gone, be gone now. In the name of Jesus, be gone now. Every strange spirit, the Lord Jesus is in this place. The Lord Jesus is in this place. I stretch my hands now. Over, 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 over. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Over now. In the name of Jesus. Now, now, now. In the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Stand up. Stand up. In the name of Jesus. Hold the baby. Now, out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that devil, Madam, look at me. The Lord is bringing you breakthrough now. I'm seeing you crying, and the Lord is saying, in your tears. I'm coming to you. I know you are far, but I will come to you. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus, the anointing is touching some people here. I'm seeing like chains broken. Chains broken. Let it break right now. In the name of Jesus, out of him. in this young man be gone now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus out now out now out now out now be gone in the name of Jesus be gone in the name of Jesus be gone in the name of Jesus look at me my dear the Lord is saying I should tell you that your sins are over over in the name of Jesus. Over now. In the name of Jesus. Say no matter where you are, no matter how far, I want you to connect by faith. Look at me. Delay over your family ends now. Ends now in the name of Jesus Christ. Clear and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. There is a spirit in this. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone here. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing. There's someone here God wants to. Now. Declare. Where is that person? I cause that spirit now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me come to this tent overflow now. Lift your hands all of you. Lift your hands all of you. Lift your hands. Now. Listen. The Lord is giving me an instruction. All of you are, I don't know what overflow is this. Four now. Three. Overflow. Three. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Something is going to happen right to the back. I'm seeing fire. One, two, three. Now. Now, now, now. Cause 
your spirit. I release breakthroughs now in this overflow. In the name of Jesus. To the back. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. I'm seeing several of you inside pit. Now, now. Come now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is Ezekiel? Ezekiel. I'm hearing a name, Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Hold on, be careful. Please be careful. Ezekiel. Hallelujah. Ezekiel. There is something God is touching you. The first four rows inside. Inside the main building, first four rows. There's someone right now. The power of God is touching. First four rows inside. Lord, thank you. Let, let that person be touched now. Now, first four rows inside. God is bringing deliverance. Where is Ezekiel? Who is Ibo? You are the Ibo. Come. Where are you from? Huh? Okay. Anambra State. I want to pray for you. You believe that the Lord is going to I see a lot of witchcraft in your family and the Lord wants to set you free. Please, those of you outside, I don't, don't think because you are outside came out to show you that God is serious about your case. Don't think because you are standing, it means you are missing. No. Wherever you are, God can locate you. Are we together now? Salome, Salome, who is Salome? Someone outside here, Salome. I'm standing close to you. Salome, come, stand here. In the name of Jesus, I set you free and I set your family free right now. In the name of Jesus, hold on. It's two guys, lift your hands. Two of you. An anointing is coming on two of you now. Lift your hands. These two gentlemen pray. Father, let them take of that anointing now. Drink of that grace. Drink of that fire. Step into a new dimension now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are Salome. In the name of Jesus. Zonkua. Who is from Zonkua here? Zonkua or something. I'm hearing the Lord is asking me. We have a lot to do. We are going to be very fast because we'll soon pray for the sick now. Zonkua. Hallelujah. Please, don't, don't make this place rowdy. Where are you from? Hold on. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Are you sisters? You are sisters. There is a spirit of death in your family. Come. What, why are you crying? It's well. Things are not going. Everything is scattered. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Two of you. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. One to go. That's the end of it. Lord, I set them free. Help them under the anointing. Please, there is somebody. The spirit of the Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what God is people outside. There is somebody around here. I want to prophesy to the person. Bring the person. That's the person. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm seeing a snake. My God. My God. I'm seeing a, not, not this person. I'm seeing a snake. And the Lord is saying, even the lawful captives. That's what the Spirit of God is ministering to me. Please lift your hands, those of you here. Someone has got to be free. I'm Lord, that person right now. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let the hand of God come upon that person right now. That person has to be free. Has to be has to be free in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus here it is is coming now I see like light coming on someone right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I set you free now by the power of the Holy Spirit I set you free I'm ministering to people Kauna. Is there a name like that? Kauna. Is it Kauna or Kauna? Please to be fast. Kauna. Who is that? I'm, I'm going to this overflow now. Kauna. Is there someone like that?
please, I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, I receive the breakthrough you are bringing. Lift your voice and begin to speak it. I receive it. I receive it. Oh God, come. What do you do? Huh? Where? Do you do business? Why? I want to pray for you because I'm seeing God empowering you in business. Do you have an elder sister? I've seen a lady. This is a lady looking just like you. I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus. I took out time because of the massive deliverance that will happen here now, this very room. I'm walking here. Please hear me. There are mothers who what is going to happen to your children is going to come from your standing here now. So please release your faith. I want to pray. I want to pray for you. It ends. It's over now. In the name of Jesus, it's over by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'll walk it to the front and then I'll come down. Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to start from the front there. Please just allow me to do my thing. Let's just do it very fast because we're going to pray for the sick. All these people lying shortly. I'm going to ask all of you to sit down. There anybody on a wheelchair or on a your stand up right now. When I ask you to stand you will stand up and take away whatever you came with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold on. Um, my God. I'm going to pass and there is nothing special about me. It's just a communication, a channel for the Lord to touch you. Come. Um, the man. What is it you are holding? The Lord is saying, what are you looking for? You are looking for a job. Huh? And the Lord is saying, I should release a job to your life. You believe that? Receive your job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. Father, I pray, Spirit of the living God, that you will blow upon this place. As I pass this place, let no yoke, let no chain stand. In the name of Jesus. She she them now in the name of Jesus I bring you life by the power of the spirit the life of the life of God by the power of the spirit this life right now in the name of Jesus Christ every darkness leaves. every trace of darkness leaves 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 now leaves now 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 leaves now in the name of jesus christ every trace of darkness must go now in the name of jesus christ must go now by the power of the holy ghost it must go now it must go now someone with pile is being healed now somewhere here someone with pile is being healed now someone with pile you're going to feel like fire going through your body we'll pray for the sick shortly be healed now fire is on your head be healed now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a yoke of delay here this row somebody somebody has to be free now in the name of jesus christ let that delay be broken by the power of the holy ghost let that delay be broken by the power of the holy ghost it's to a new level in the name of Jesus, the Lord is renewing, renewing, renewing. I hear renewal. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm standing in this row because the angel of the Lord is standing here. And he wants to touch somebody right now. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. Let it be over by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now. Please help them, my God. My sister, you are praying and I'm hearing your prayer. Come, you are telling the Lord to visit you. I'm hearing your prayers in my ears and the Lord is saying I should, that he should give you a visitation. Who is this? My children. This is your husband? Yes, sir. Where is he? He's in Berlin. I want to pray for you. I don't like what I see. 
right the lord is going to set them free because i'm seeing everything is tied down for this family nothing is working yes, sir. is that true the lord is going to step in now at those states Edo State. I'm from Edo State. But the Spirit of God is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying for you. Please. Father, let there be a miracle right now. I end it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I end it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Now, see this thing the Lord shows me all the time. Please, everybody lift your hands inside or outside. Lift your hands now. I'm seeing a map. I don't know why God always shows me this. I'm seeing a map and the spirit of the Lord through that map is taking me to Benway State. Now everyone from Benway State, get ready. The anointing of God comes upon you now. Benway State. Benway State. The Lord is setting people free. Benway State right now. Shekatos, Kalatos. Inside and outside. Benway State. Benway State. Inside, outside. Benway State. I see breakthroughs coming. Benway State anointings Mata Lakota is a sign and a wonder that the Lord does where he locates people by state locates people by state I'm praying now if you're in Benway State this unction is on you the work is on you inside my God I'm seeing people inside inside main auditorium breakthroughs 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 I'm hearing or to go or to go breakthroughs strange breakthroughs strange breakthroughs or to go Shakato Sekete Egreto Shalabariata Embrakato Shataya Lakosata Jesus There is power in the name of Jesus There are miracles in the name of Jesus There are breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jacob. 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 You're, I'm standing close to you. and Your name is Jacob. Lift your hands. It's over now. Forever. Over. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the, there's somebody praying in this room. The power of God is coming on him now. Someone is praying a prayer. In the name of Jesus, you are stepping into a level. The spirit of wisdom is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is it Asabe? Asabe. I'm hearing the name Asabe. Quickly, I want to see how God will grant us grace. This evening, there are so many sick people we have to pray for. Asabe. Is it Asabe? I'm hearing Asabe. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me, my dear. Look at my eyes. My eyes. Look at my eyes. Break every chain. Break every chain. Visit our family, oh God. Once and for all. Let this be the season. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is from Enugu State? Enugu State. Hold on, hold on. Please don't fight yourselves. Madam, where are you from? I'm from Eni. Enugu State. I'm going to pray for you. Choma. What? Choma. 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 I'm hearing a name, Choma. We're going to pray. Choma. You are inside. The Choma at the main auditorium. Choma, where are you? Give Jesus praise. I'm going to pray for you. Your name is Choma. What's your name? Choma. Name is Choma. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is set family free right now because this is one of your prayer requests. I'm looking at your prayer request in a vision. What did you say the Lord should? I'm seeing your prayer request on top of you, and I'm seeing that you are writing that God should bring breakthrough for your family. He will. He will. He will. We are talking about the Spirit of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let it be over. My brother, stand up. Look at me. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You love Jesus? I'm seeing your legs tied and I'm seeing snake of your legs down to your head. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is where this will start from. Be free now. Out! In the name of Jesus, help him. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Where did you come from, my dear? You are from Isuka. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hands. Let it be over now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let it be over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing that map again. The Lord shows me Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna now. The power of God is looking to Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna inside and outside. You're from Southern Kaduna. I'm seeing the map of Kaduna State. And the Lord is touching people from that state right now. There are several people inside, ushers, different people. The Lord is touching people. Southern Kaduna. Miracles, miracles. I'm seeing like a, a, the cover. The cover of a well being opened in the name of Jesus. Let it be by the Spirit of the Living God. By the Spirit of the Living God. By the Spirit of the Living God. Let it end now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it end. Captivity must end in the name of Jesus Christ. Captivity must end now. Captivity must end. Captivity must end. Shada sete karotash. Embre kete shala pradosa stupiada. Shala prende keto prasada banana ba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing Italy. Italy, a country, Italy. Who has a relative in Italy? You come. There is power. Please quickly. Who do you have in Italy? My elder sister. Where is she? She's in Italy. Have you heard from her? No, it has been long. There's a, there's a problem. I'm seeing that lady is in a serious problem. She needs a miracle. Did we discuss this with you? Yeah, she discussed it with my mom. I'm saying, did I discuss it with you? No, sir. She's in Italy. There is a serious problem. Huh? I'm seeing deportation. We have to pray for her. There is a serious issue. Not only deportation, but she's about to get into trouble. The Lord brings this thing so that he will set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what I was waiting for. In Jesus' name. There's somebody in front among the people lying down there. Um, I'm seeing the Lord touching their family. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle. Those of you coming for the first time, this is what happens in the miracle service. Is, is, these are not just miracles. They are called signs and wonders. They are operations of the Spirit. You can see me call a state and everybody on that, that state is under the influence of the Spirit. It's not so magic. These are operations. These are superior dimensions of the operation of the Spirit of the living God. I want to pray for the lady in Italy. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle right now. A miracle right now. Something is leaving you, even you who is standing. This has caused delay in your life. The Lord is about to give you speed. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural speed. The Lord ends captivity in your life. Let it end now. Captivity is ending by the Spirit and the power of God. Captivity is ending. Hallelujah. There is somebody inside here. I'm seeing a vision. You are a, you are a professional footballer. Come out. Something has tied you down. It's time for you to move up. Who is that? You are a footballer. That's why you came here. Who is that? Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Lord Jesus, we honor you. Leave her. I want to pray for her. Something is happening. That's why I'm standing. Look at me. Lord Jesus, let this oppression over her family end. In the name of Jesus Christ. The same thing happening to her is happening to someone right at the back. 
in the name of Jesus. You play football. Oh, this is your brother. From where? Somebody cheated you. We have to pray for you. Huh? Where do you want to travel to? I want to go to Europe. Huh? Europe. But you know that God has to take you to a clean way. Huh? If you want to smuggle your way and go to Europe, the devil would go and hijack your life and destroy you and they will throw you back. Do you understand? Because I see God lifting you in this career. The Lord is taking you very, very far. You believe that? Hold my hands. Lord Jesus, I bring him into this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be for you. You see, prophecy does not just reveal. Prophecy creates. We make things that have no business happening to happen. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that the road is clear for you now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Seven months pregnant. There's a woman I need to pray for. Seven months pregnant. Seven months pregnant. Come. You're pregnant. How many months? Seven months. The Lord is telling me to take away CS. Hold my hands. Jesus. When are you due? Next month. September. You are due September. When? Do you know? You don't know. Anything from September 19th, get ready. Huh? In the name of Jesus, I hold you and I declare, I stop CS now by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a problem with this baby, as I'm seeing. Is that true? Yes. I told you. This baby is not lying correctly and it's affecting you. If we don't pray, something will happen and you give birth to a dead baby. We correct it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. I bring the life of Christ to you. In the name of Jesus, you will give birth normally by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for the sick now, but uh, who is this? You are pregnant? How many months? Seven months. Yes, sir. Have you gone to the hospital? Where's your husband? He's at home, sir. Husbands, husbands. They send their wives and stay back at home. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Put your hand in your stomach. God is going to give you a dream about the name of this child. Receive grace to name the child exactly what you see. Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let it be. In the name of Jesus, let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We'll soon pray for the sick, but I want to do something. Look at me. This lady. Out of her now. I release the life of Jesus Christ and I curse the works of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ 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 in the name of Jesus Christ, name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing fire it's like it's looking for someone in this room this is something that has to do with someone's family in the name of Jesus Christ just this room because I'm seeing the Lord is revealing to me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. The power of God will come upon whoever that person is. And that will end it right now. End it right now. Family. God is touching the families. In the name of Jesus. It is not by power. It's not by might. It's by the Spirit of God. It's not by power. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone's prayer request. Prayer point number one. Let my sister have a child. Who is that? Prayer point number one. You are wearing red. Break every chain. Break every chain. I hope you are not telling lies. What was your first prayer request? Let my sister and my brother have a baby. Where are they? They are in their various places. Your sister, how long has she been married? Going to three years. Did she have a child before? No. 
But my brother has. Did she take in before? No. Hmm. This person is wearing red. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing somebody wearing red. This is the person in the vision the Lord is showing me. Who is that? This is the person I saw, but I will pray with you. Listen, I want you to believe that no barren person, there is no need to go back without a child. It's, it's, there is not necessary. Hold on, I'm not just praying for barren people at random, but just let them come since they're here. We'll pray for people. We're about to pray for people now. We'll take our time to minister. The anointing is there. You see that even the vigils, sometimes you close your eyes and it's already morning. Praise the Lord. My friend, you love Jesus? Kai, please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. I'm seeing you standing and I want to pray. I know I always pray, but this guy smokes, uh, um, what they call that thing. But I know people smoke all kinds of things, but this guy, your own is acute. You are here, but truthfully speaking, you cannot help. You can take as much of that thing till it destroys you. I'm even seeing that you have some. I don't know whether it's at home. Please, who is that? Don't be embarrassed. The Lord wants to set you free. If you sit down, that's your, that's, that's for you. Whether you are inside, outside, make your way. Don't be ashamed. Just come out here. I want to pray for you now. My dear, I want you to call. Where are they? Who, who are you standing in for? Ladi Abuti. Huh? Ladi Abuti. You? No, You're the, my sister. Your sister. Okay, I want to pray. The person I'm talking about, please summon the courage to stand here. I want to pray for you. I want you to call her after this meeting and tell her to get ready. God is going to give her a baby boy. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you because your power is available to set the captives free. I decree and declare. Let it be right now. Establish it in Jesus' name. It's over now. You are the one who came. Come. We have to pray. Your brother, you said they are barren. I'm not seeing your brother barren. He has two children. How many two children? Hold on, let me talk to you. How many children? The first one was a miscarriage. Miscarriage? How many children are there now? The second one died like two weeks after. I'm seeing two children that is not a miscarriage. They were born, but they died. Children. Two children. Now it's, there's no child at all. The one they had died like weeks or so. How many weeks? Two weeks, Two weeks after birth. One and one day. And he just died. We have to pray. You understand? You, you're standing in for them and you believe God will help them. We have to pray. As you're praying for them, it will never be part of your life. You have no business with that thing. Somebody needs to come out. This wee wee thing. Who is the person? Let's celebrate him. Don't, don't feel bad. Hallelujah. He's your friend. He's your brother. He smokes this thing. He smokes a... Uh, huh? Do you love Jesus? You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I have to pray for him. My friend, how are you? Can you hear me? I can hear you. I have to pray for him. You see, the same thing the anointing, when you smoke this thing and when you are under the influence of the anointing it's exactly what happens when you smoke these leaves you see those leaves there is a lady come and join him i'm seeing a lady don't be embarrassed please jesus is setting you free there is a lady you can't help yourself this is not the issue of being good or bad please run boldly and come if you waste our time you just sit where you are one lady there is a lady this thing has destroyed not like you like it but you can't help it it comes upon you like an anointing and you have to come my dear let's pray we have to pray for the sick now in the name of jesus christ i agree with you i terminate the yoke of barrenness right now sister and brother in the name of jesus they take in now you're here for the same reason you're here for the same reason in the name of jesus you're standing for yourself your sister if i ask for people who have who want children except you are standing for somebody if you are standing for yourself make sure you are you have a husband or a wife 
praise God. We, we are Bible believers, but we are not stupid people. Make sure you are married officially. Because I know that there are people who just live together. Um, you, don't, you don't love God and then we have to stay. Of course, God is merciful. The Spirit of God is not letting me rest over the lady that we are going to pray for. In the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. We are a family. Nobody looks down and embarrasses. There's no condemnation here whatsoever. We are here to help. We are here to show you the mercies of God. Hold my hands, my dear. This is a lady. Ah, no, this is not how. The person I'm talking about is here in this venue. You are here. You are not asleep. You are awake. You are hearing what I'm saying. This lady is... You understand? Barrenness. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch them. In the name of Jesus, touch them. Hold on. Don't worry. We are going to pray for the sick. Who is this? Why are you here, madam? Please just be patient. Why is she here? If it's not the case I mentioned, um, can I pray for you, my friend? You are the one who brought him. Where is he from? He's, he's from, he's from, from Benway State, sir. Eh? He's from Benway State. He's from Benway State. See how the guy is yes, staring sir. at me? If he has his way, he can eat and swallow me as if it's easy. Between you and me, it's a long distance. It's not what you are seeing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very long distance stretch your hands and let's pray for this guy he's a nice person this this is what we we and co can do let's pray let's pray my friend don't worry we are praying for you eh? it's not just you stretch your hands saints of god you are anointed let's pray for him lord help this gentleman please i still insist this lady if god grants you grace in the name of jesus christ i pray for you we love you and in the name of jesus we pray for you sincerely by the compassion of the Christ, we pray for you that the power of this, this substance abuse is broken in your life. In the name of Jesus. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. 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 I have to talk to that person quickly and then we will pray for the sick. You can't imagine how the time is gone. We are still going to anoint. It's already morning. Rebecca. Is there anyone? Huh? Sister. Your sister. I'll pray for you, but what's your name? What's your name? Rebecca. My dear. Come. Who is this? Rebecca. The lady that smokes this thing. This thing has depressed this lady and changed her. That's why I want to pray for you. What's your name? Rukaya. 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 Come. I love you. Eh? Come. You're a darling. We're not, we're not here to make you feel bad at all. Listen, let me tell you something. Huh? One of the keys to walking in the anointing is love. You don't love people, you will never walk in authentic power. When God reveals to you things about people's lives, it's not because you are better than them. Are we together now? The goal of this revelation is to extend the hand of God's love. This is a wonderful lady. You can see very lovely, beautiful lady that the devil wants to destroy. So every time words come like this or when we pray for people, this is a family of faith where everybody is a product of God's mercy and grace. Are we together, darling? I, I know that you may not like some of them. It may not even be bad friends. They just got into all of these things. And let me tell you, maturity does not deliver people from spirits. You can be growing older and still remain. You believe the Lord Jesus will help you? Hmm? Thank you. You've tried to stop this thing, Abby? Yes. And you try and it won't work? Yes. Problems keep coming up that I just can't stop. What do you take? I smoke, I take drugs, I drink. You drink? Yes. Please stretch your hands over this lady. Pray as if you are praying for your own daughter. Pray as if you are praying for your own child. Lord, have mercy on this dear lady. We refuse to leave her to the devil. We love her. 
pray some of you are looking at me pray with all your heart lord help this lady usually people take these things as a result of depression all kinds of challenges their lack of understanding the word of god their lack of encounter with the word of god is what produces this kind of devilish effect hallelujah look at me my dear you are my friend eh? don't cry you are my friend from today god will help you eh? say amen in the name of jesus christ eh? pastor alpha please eh? you will follow this lady just help her to stand strong some of these ladies it's just a combination of loneliness and then they meet all kinds of bad people by the way when when it's time to do the final prayer we're going to pray against these bad people around our community whose lives is to frustrate and destroy people there are many ladies here you want to love god and, and live for him but there are all these boys around that make it look like serving god is a waste of time and they keep distracting you and before you know it in the name of love in the name of relationship and, and in the name of wanting to marry you they derail you from the path of god anybody who must make you leave god to marry you is not an irresponsible person that prayer has already been answered the answer is no leave the person quickly don't say i'm waiting on god god is not a fool are we together so go and meet pastor alpha he will help you and eh? he will collect your details and your Rebecca, all of you, three of you, I cannot even remember why I asked you to come out, but let me pray for you. You are standing in for your sister. You love Jesus. Friends, eh? You love Jesus, but be careful so that, um, you know, your company matters as much as your work with God. The Lord will help you. Huh? In Jesus' name, over now in your life. Hold my hands in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is setting her free. I'm seeing something leaving her. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let her be free from it. That devil of darkness lets you go. Rebecca, the Lord is bringing you liberty in the name of Jesus. It's over now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I have to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, this favor is lifted from your life forever. In Jesus' name. Two of you are Rebecca. Your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. Now, what's that your song? Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Al Janna. Gashina, Gashina, Gamuna, Sirkin Al Janna, Yana, Gashina, Gamuna, Yana. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray on this now. You can imagine it's to five. Stretch your hands here. Let's pray. God is a miracle worker. The testimonies here is a revelation that God gave us and an instruction. And my God, what a joy to life. Stretch your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Jabratos Kalabrende Geva Sarabakuria Takatash. Jabratos Sobredi Shikarata Stretch your hands in the name of Jesus. Mandala Kapratos Katavridish Kalabraniakata. Unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Are you praying? Father, we agree. We agree for miracles. We agree for we agree for wonders. Pray for wonders. Pray. We receive miracles. We receive signs. We receive wonders. In the name of Jesus. Lord, release miracles to families. Release signs, wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let impossible situations come under the influence of your spirit. 
Makoto pa shabrada ka sode barato sesiana kosh agrada ka barato ko shobrendi gede balato siada kata shabra ka barako to sobri gedia rabada ka da balada ko so sobri ada balada bosh in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Father we decree and declare agree with me right now let every impossible situation turn into a miracle right now Lord this is a representation of the cries and the desires of your people scattered around this place and many across the nations of the world Lord we agree that you are a miracle worker and we decree and declare that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus we decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus visit the barren heal the sick deliver the oppressed wipe the tears of your people by the power of your word let there be miracles we release miracles 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 in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you we thank you we call it done in the name of Jesus Christ we call it done in the name of Jesus Christ we call it done in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah in your name we will rise I don't know you reign on in your name we will rise I don't know you reign sing it as a prophecy in your name I will rise I don't know you reign on one more time it's in your name we will rise I don't know Matthew 13 verse 11 I like us to read one to read he answered and said unto them because it is given sorry it's not projected we really apologize let's take it again one to read 13 verse 11 because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but unto them it is not given change the word mystery to secrets ready read it again one to read please look up these truths are called secrets not because God does not want them known. Are we together? The idea of the principles of the kingdom being called secrets has nothing to do with God's um, God's wanting to hide them from people. No. They are called secrets only because the operation of those principles will require the presence of the Holy Spirit to help you understand. He said it is given to you in the kingdom. You who have encountered Christ, it has been given unto you. It's part of the privileges of submitting to the Lordship of Christ. To know, have access to the mysteries of the kingdom. It says, but to them, who are the them? Those who are without. Those who have willfully ignored the person of Jesus Christ. It said to them, that access has not been given. But to you, it has been given 
say in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus it has been given unto me to know to understand to comprehend the mysteries of the kingdom it has been given to me to understand the systems of the kingdom and i will understand i will master these laws and i will reign in life listen ladies and gentlemen i give you a guarantee please hear me i give you a guarantee if you pay attention to these truths your life will look like a god upon the earth believe me the laws of the kingdom are not emotional they don't have any tribal affiliations or sentiments to them you're not going to say because i'm a northerner or because i'm from the south or east no god is no respecter of persons any and everyone at all who will open up himself or herself and pay attention to these truths will rise like an edifice out of any kind of obscurity in the name of jesus christ there are six laws that have changed my life six principles that i have taught and shared there are so many but in recent times i found myself advocating these things and helping the body of christ understand these principles i'm going to run through them very quickly and then we'll pray hallelujah three things will happen to you as i teach number one is that you will have all kinds of encounters number two the lord will grant you understanding i sincerely pray for you that you will have understanding the bible says and open he their understanding that they may understand the scripture meaning until god opens your understanding you will keep hearing stories hallelujah and then number three the supply of grace will come upon your life that ability of the holy spirit that enhances performance may that be your portion in the name of jesus for your glory be lifted high Believed high, believed high. For your glory, believed high, believed high, believed high. For your glory, believed high. Hallelujah. Number one. is the law that is responsible for unusual grace please listen in the life of a man what principle makes men so powerful i have met men in my life and i've heard of others i have followed others who are extremely powerful there is a strong manifestation of the hand of god and the grace of god upon their lives and I have seen others who love God sincerely. But I have not seen as much grace. Is it just an election of grace? Or is there a pathway a man can follow to the end that you will access heavy dimensions of the hand of God? There is. There is. And I want to show you. Praise the Lord. It's called the law of complete surrender. Please write it down. Complete surrender. This is the first mystery in the kingdom I want to teach you. The secret of unusual grace. Heavy anointings upon men. Men who have access to territories. There is a mystery that governs that operation. It's called complete surrender. The source of my strength now you. The strength of my life my open my joy now you my confidence now you you're the source of my strength now you the strength of my life now you my open my joy now you my confidence now you so i
Rabbi, we know that thou art a man sent from God. He said, for no man can do these things except God be with him. Except God be with him. What you see in this ministry is the finger, the very finger of God. And we give him all the praise and to him be all the glory. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 16. Let's continue. Matthew 16 verse 25. Matthew 16 verse 25. I'm establishing the law of complete surrender. Matthew 16 verse 25 for whosoever now listen I want to establish a law whosoever will save his life shall what lose it but whosoever will lose his life listen for my sake not for foolishness not as a result of drinking beer and a car knocks you down whosoever to show how much he's passionate about me will lose his life he says he will gain it please listen in this kingdom we rise up by losing things you do not gain things and rise the extent to which you rise in power the extent to which you rise in grace is called the sacrifice of death death to yourself death to your ambitions death to your appetites and desires death to a life of sovereignty outside of the Christ the more you die to yourself the more your flesh is crucified at the cross the more you are able to tap into on all dimensions of spiritual power listen every man defines the limit of his spiritual possibility as far as accessing the power of God is concerned I may love God you may love God listen the difference between both of us is not just the election of grace alone but our individual willingness to lay down what defines relevance outside Christ for the sake it says this one thing I do forgetting everything that is behind it didn't say forgetting bad things everything Jesus became Lord and Christ by his ability to lay down his glory his reputation Philippians 2 from verse 5 to 10 it says let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus right who although he was equal with God he did not consider it robbery co-equal in power but he laid aside that glory that grace and became a man that would have been enough humiliation and then the Bible says he now died the death of a sinner the death being a cause then it says wherefore on the strength of losing his life his personal relevance when Jesus came to the earth it was enough for him to say look I am everything but even being humiliated as a man he still submitted to the governing authority of his father he said I can of my own do nothing the word of God speaking the word that created the heavens and the earth he said i can of my own do nothing he said as i see my father do sacrifice so many of us may never get to this realm of power although we may fast although we may pray it's not just by fasting and prayer there is a point you must come to where you will say like John in John 3 31 that I may decrease listen that he may increase there are some of you looking at me here if you had one tenth of the results that God has blessed this ministry with God will never see your face again you see as I'm speaking to you make sure you are hearing the Lord talk to you up 
absolute surrender where you have no desire whatsoever to build titles for yourself god is my witness i've said this for years and i'm still saying it i have no desire whatsoever to build an empire joshua selman apostle joshua selman the great man of god the anointed man of god no i have only one desire to see his kingdom come and that my life becomes a mirror not showing myself but revealing an ability greater than me over 70 percent of those who have been blessed by this ministry have never seen me face to face some of you this is the first time you are seeing me face to face you know why because it has always been my desire for christ and him alone to be exalted as a person i'm useless and unnecessary to your spiritual growth i am only necessary on the strength of number one the election of grace and the privilege of representing the person christ that's where i draw my relevance from i'm aware of that so at no point in my christian experience and my journey in ministry will i ever declare independence wanting people to know me outside of the christ but for many of us hidden in our fastings hidden in our prayers hidden in our night vigils hidden in our attending seminars and reading books is such an appetite for for being honored and recognized to an extent that it doesn't matter whether christ is glorified or not we have such desire to be celebrities in the kingdom you are not a celebrity by writing songs and producing albums and doing the way they do in the world you are a celebrity to the degree to which you die and no man sees you they only see the christ it's a realm called galatians 2 20 i have been crucified with christ please listen nevertheless i live yet not i but christ that lives in me it says and the life that i live in the flesh i live by the faith of the son of god who loved me and gave himself for me please hear me quit this desire for vain glory self-glorification i'm not saying do not desire honor it is part of the system of the kingdom to honor those who represent christ well he said let them that rule well be given double honor are we together but if that is the foundation of your pursuit and then you now write songs because you want to be a celebrity and show frank edwards and the rest that they are not the only ones you know and sometimes we men of god teach these things sincerely in church but we do not realize we are destroying people in an attempt to motivate people and spur them towards excellence we try to give them an idea that there is an inner giant within them that giant is outside christ wake that sleeping giant and what many people mean is look you can rise outside of partnership with christ only know these laws the foundation of the relevance of the christian is tied to christ don't forget this at no point in your life will your independence from god favor you at no point in john 21 jesus was speaking to peter and he gave him what i define to be the hallmark of spiritual maturity he said when you are young come when you are young in the kingdom you are allowed to go and do everything you want to do but the older and the more mature you become it says someone will hold your hands and will take you even to places you do not want dependence is the hallmark of maturity in the spirit independence and rebellion are communications of self-centeredness and carnality the more mature you become in the kingdom the more your hands will have to be held submission defines maturity in the kingdom thank you hallelujah i have learned this law and it has blessed me 
never you see a man who has donated himself to god and think that man is at a disadvantage you are joking except if the man did it religiously or he did it carnally or in the course of his journey he was weary and did not finish i have not found one man from scripture who left all to commit himself to the purposes of christ listen i have not found one man who took his life as a trophy and said lord find glory in this life and was not relevant when god called abraham a traditional worshiper in a land called or of the chaldeans in genesis chapter 12 he called abraham and he said i will make you a great nation and all of that and then he says come out of your father's house in other words come into a life come into a life of dependence and at the end he turned a man to a nation the same thing he did for gideon the same thing he did for moses the same thing he will do to any man you've heard me say it and i will repeat it tonight the lord told me years ago he said if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you because in god's mind it doesn't make any difference whether the virtues are with him or with me the allegiance does not change so god can commit to you what is in his hands because he knows that it is still his own in your hands this attitude of ownership you will never hear me say my ministry no my ministry these are till today you've heard me say it again and again i am and, and a lot of people have felt bad i still feel my body still shakes to look at someone and call my son in the gospel a lot of people have said you've never called me son you've never called me daughter because to call someone son or daughter it it, it even looks like I'm, I'm i'm embarrassing myself because compared to where god wants me to be i'm only a step out of the cave yet some of you this is the hallmark of your ministry there is such appetite to surround people with everybody including your father and mother and everybody they are your sons and daughters and we pride ourselves in it this is my church of 20 members they are all my children no i'm showing you a principle that will change your life in everything my business so you pay the bills and it kills you my business he said let it not be deuteronomy chapter 18 that when thou art built these houses from verse 14 down to 18 right and you have done this and that that you say my power and the strength of my hands has given me this he said but thou shall remember the lord your god why because you can forget let me tell you success can erode the place of god in the life of a man is god speaking to us oh god i want power i want the miraculous grace you know i see people i receive all kinds of text messages from people I remember i think two weeks ago one gentleman came uh, was it two weeks or so he came from i don't know which city he sent me a text he said apostle i'm coming to throw everything you carry that he wants a, a quad i think it's um, four is what quadruple right portion and i laughed as i said, look at look at this boy just kidding himself because you think you can inherit sacrifice you can't inherit death it's, it's a path he said verily verily i say unto you except a wheat falls to the ground that's not a gift that's a reward except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies it abides alone i can release grace upon you but i cannot give you my secret place i cannot give you the priority i can only pray that grace be supplied and help you understand my convictions but it will be up to you to say lord this is my job my wife my children my ministry my career i love all of them but i push all of them behind to make you first not just that find a place and and wage yourself in the midst of these things so you have your career usually money is the first money then wife then children then husband then god 
then politics then something he's just somewhere in the list the jealousy of god will fight anything above him in your life even if he's the one who gave you he will fight it it is his idea that everything in your life only finds relevance to the degree to which it is behind him so your gifts and talents are only relevant to the degree to which he is above them your prosperity is only relevant to the degree to which he's above them is god speaking to us open your mouth and pray in one minute and say lord i make you my priority please pray my priority not an instrument of relevance lord you are my priority are you praying koinonia my priority not money not fame not marriage not children not education they are all important don't get me wrong but they are useless the moment christ is not above them believe me sooner or later you will learn the vanity of life outside of christ he is he does not add taste to life he gives it meaning jesus christ is not the salt of the earth jesus christ is life he does not add taste to your life no jesus christ does not add he introduces life to you he said this is the testimony that god has given us eternal life then he says and this life is in his son he who has the son has eternal life hallelujah listen listen never give god your remaining time you spend your time looking for money looking for wife husband children then eventually you feel guilty because usually you will not get any much result so you now run to christ and say okay god i know that you are not happy with me let me give you one day no it's not about giving god one day of a retreat god does not want one day he doesn't even want once a week he wants everything if he's not lord of all then everything that stands his way is your god praise the lord is god speaking to us the law of absolute surrender jeremiah 29 please 13 and 14. what are the benefits of god being a priority in the life of a man jeremiah 29 when you read from verse 13 it says and ye shall seek me listen and find me when you seek me with all your heart sincerely speaking please hear me look up look up brothers and sisters hear me this half-hearted commitment towards god that we do one leg in and one leg out when it's favorable i love him when it's not favorable i don't love him you will never find the god i serve that way you must give him everything completely it can't be god and something else no the the might and the jealousy of god puts him in a class all by himself are we together he says you will find me only when you seek me with all your heart with all your heart with all your heart the problem is we are not seeking god with all our hearts we are seeking what he can give a number of us are gathered here if i begin to prophesy now and i say oh stand up your name is this this and that many of us will be happy and say thank god i came for today's service you see because that's really what you want man of god what is my problem what do i do about it so we have created all kinds of systems in the body of christ to cover our half-hearted following god are we together we follow god half-heartedly when demons start oppressing us we look for a man quickly and just drop money and because the man needs the money he will not rebuke you he will now collect it and say go it is done it's not done let me tell you it is not done you will go back and those spirits will oppress you 
because this what you are giving is bribe there is no amount of seed you give a man of god that will cover the place that only your total commitment to god are we together yes and pastors stop collecting money from people and watching their spiritual lives go down and tell them go it is done i'm telling you now if anybody has told you that it is not done there is a lot more to do sow your seed bless a man of god but don't come to bribe a man to say oh, man of god pray for me me too i i'm so busy you know we are not like you we really don't have that time to pray if you don't have the time to pray you don't have the time to live if you don't have the time to study the word and know god then please Pray that your life will be given to someone who is serious with God so that at least maybe you can go to heaven or so. But when you are in this earth, you live by the systems of the king. Hallelujah. Nothing irritates me like seeing young people who are not passionate about God. You see a guy stand and then you hear him talk and there is nothing kingdom in his conversation. No love for God. Man of God, how are you? May God bless you in this missionary journey. He doesn't even know. He, he's trying to use Christian languages to look spiritual. He says, as you are helping us in this vineyard, in this world. Where did you keep what? Nothing in the kingdom has altered your communication. But they know every song. They know every show. They know everything. That's the person saying he doesn't have time. They know every football team right they know the winners of uefa champions league they are hoping that cashless uh, mastercard cashless will take them to the finals of uefa champions league they are hoping all these things will happen and they have no knowledge of god tell me one scripture where god said he will prosper you you don't know but you are there advocating for a man who will never tell you thank you you see we have to straighten our thinking. Please hear me. God is not a herbalist. A herbalist is not concerned about relationship. He's only concerned about practices. You don't even need to know the name of the herbalist. He just says, turn around, drop your chicken, drop your goat, drop the money, go. It is done. You don't know his name. But when you come to God and say, God, I stretch my hands. He pushes your hand away and says, give me your heart. Let's start with your heart before we talk about your hand hallelujah number two the second key secret of the kingdom i'll be sharing with you tonight we'll have to hurry up it's found in proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 please let's hurry up proverbs 23 verse 7 i'll read it for as he thinketh in his heart the word heart there can also be translated mind so is he for as he thinketh in his heart please look up so is he there is a law in the kingdom that realities are first formed within and from the realm of the spirit before they find expression in the physical please listen that your life is only a looking mirror and when you want to alter the course of your life you don't alter it by changing things physically you alter it by changing something within are we together imagine that this projector is a big mirror and you saw yourself and maybe there was dust on your face and then you are trying to chuck your hand in the mirror to clean the dust is that wisdom that's the same thing that you are doing when you try to correct something in your life physically without correcting it from your mind because everyone every one of you under the sound of my voice is a slave to your conditioning your paradigm your ideology are we together now i'm doing what i'm doing right now because there are certain sets of convictions that make me believe that this is the way to live a relevant life are we together when a gentleman sacks his jeans down and holds it go in his hand it's not just that there is a spirit oppressing him there is a mindset are we together there is an understanding within him that defines success to him 
and lets him know that if you want to succeed these are the things you do so he's a slave you see the body is an obedient instrument the body will obey your convictions 100 percent your body will move you only in the direction of your convictions sadly not your intentions so you may be hearing what i'm saying now you want to change but there is a conviction in you that would not allow you change listen this is why people remain poor this is why people remain sick this is why people remain failures they hear the word and they're ah i'm happy i've had this word but that was just their intention their true conviction is still what came from their village what took 20 years to become a stronghold in your mind is god speaking to us so when you come to the kingdom as the word of God is being taught, you know what I'm doing to you? There is a replacement going on in your mind. Are we together? New ideas that are now consistent with the way of God are superimposing the ideas that came from culture. The ideas that came from the, our being victimized by reason of our post-colonial, the side effect of being under the colonial rule. That mindset of servitude. As the word of God is coming, it's bringing new ideas. And all of a sudden, your concepts are changing. You who would have been rebellious about the things of God, now can sit down in church. Just like they gave the testimony, our Abuja people, right? How that someone who was not in the faith is now sitting down and burning for God. Three years ago, that person had a conviction an ideology that informed him otherwise or her otherwise and now they found something you listen when you get born again the next assignment of the holy spirit is to take the principles of the word of god in partnership with your obedience and that there be a progressive replacement of wrong paradigms wrong ideologies are we together if you are smoking there is an understanding making you do it the issue is not to say stop smoking you cannot stop until the paradigm is changed and the spirit that keeps that paradigm effective leaves you when a man beats his wife something told him that's the way to keep your wife obedient and usually he would have interacted with people from his village and they said the way we, we have done this before you were born don't let ladies talk nonsense when they do anything beat the living daylight out of them do it once twice maybe three times or four and i'm telling you you have everything settled so you you are born again but you carry your village with you god wants to open you up to a beautiful life maritally but your village is interrupting it please i like you to make a commitment that you will have no loyalty to any mindset that is not of the Christ. No matter how long you've held on to it. When you come before the Lord. You must lay it down. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do you know why we resent ourselves. And we hate our cultures. I'll tell you why. We hate people from different cultures. Because of what we think. Comes with the culture. Are we together? A prevalent mindset. So if I say a man from Plateau State or Kaduna State or Kogi State or Akwa Ibom or Lagos or an Igbo man, we associate these people with certain things ranging from irresponsibility to anger to loss for money to pride and so on and so forth to promiscuity. But those things are ideologies. They are conditionings. Listen, the kingdom is another culture greater than your culture you can choose to remain an evil man or become a citizen of the kingdom you can choose to remain a northern man, together with the strings of irresponsibility associated with our territory or you can come into the kingdom and let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus are we together conditioning so you love god but that mindset of being a champion is still eating you up. So the moment you are in church and a man of God is preaching, you try to outshine them. That one is not God. You are anointed. 
but you are still a victim of a conditioning that you are only a celebrity when you are the only one doing what you are doing so you push every other person and make sure nobody has an, an opportunity to grow listen please hold on do you know that many of us pastors some of the things we introduce to members that we brag about and make it look like it's the Holy Spirit that told us it's not the Holy Spirit there is where the Holy Spirit stopped and our villages continued but we mix everything and say it was the Holy Spirit are we together I can be angry and call you stupid and instead of accepting that look this, this one is a spirit. This is not the Holy Ghost. But I'll say, look, it's, it's just the zeal of the Lord. What do you expect? I have an apostolic anointing. Instead of being humble to admit, are we together now? Yes. Or the moment God reveals to me that you have one million in your account, I'm supposed to pass. He didn't say I should talk to you. But something in my territory that that stimulates an appetite for material gain this one has nothing to do with god again i took advantage of prophetic access and saw one million and i'm drawn by my lust now you won't know because the atmosphere is heavy people are falling under the anointing so you assume it's god that is doing it and i walk up to you and say young man stand up you have one million hi hey! say yes exactly one million yes it came last week yes go and send it to my account now listen i will i will be so bold about it you will never believe it came from me i'll say look don't think i'm looking for your money just go and do this thing for your own good and the guy will run and transfer it and i'll say thank you jesus now does that mean it doesn't mean i don't love the lord but there is a mindset that is mixing with ministry are we together and if it wants it must change that's why there are people who don't mind getting anything you love god but then eventually when there are bills that need to be paid you will create some kind of prophetic platform and say where are so 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 and so people who must do a and b and c and we make it look like it was god no those ministries are suffering because of their lack of understanding the financial principles of the kingdom. And they will have to manipulate a system to cover up for their lapse of not understanding one system of the kingdom. Please, I'd like you to pray for one minute and say, Lord, any conditioning in me that is responsible for my failure, no matter how long I've held on to it, let it go tonight. Please pray. Pray. I'm sharing with you principles that will change your life. Please pray. Some of you, that's why you may never enter a godly relationship. Any relationship you enter, you love God. You are tongue-talking. But there is an understanding you have about relationship, about marriage, that will never allow you to be in a meaningful relationship. Some of you do not have friends because there is a thinking, there is a paradigm. It came with your village. The validity, the lifespan of any good friend in your life is two weeks something you do will drive them away take responsibility and pray stop saying it's just demons pray and say lord i realize that your word says to guard my heart with all diligence for out of it proceeds the issues of life regardless of my village and my territory regardless of where i come from there is a behavioral pattern that is tied to inferiority. I have never realized that I'm behaving that way because there is a hidden sense of low esteem, low self-esteem. I have brought it into ministry. I have brought it into business. I have brought it into my home and it's destroying my home. Let it go in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray some of us are very cynical we are very critical you criticize everybody you are a sadist your communication is always on the negative take responsibility and accept tonight that there is a mindset that is making you behave that way and cry to the lord for change don't say we are all like that in our family pray there is a mindset that keeps you greedy there is a mindset 
that makes you not to be a giver there is a mindset that makes it look like tithing is a gimmick from men of God to collect your money and you remain poor there is a mindset that makes you think your entire finances will come from salary and is killing you right now pray and say Lord any understanding any paradigm I have held on to that is not consistent with your path I, I become disloyal to it tonight hallelujah number three proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 7 is god blessing us already please lend these keys and use them and watch the mountains before you melt like wax before the fire hallelujah some years ago i found out listen that every time i had challenges in my life any kind of challenge it was difficult for me to manage it i didn't know what to do as a leader whenever i was faced between decisions very major decisions i didn't know how to manage some of the confusions that i experienced until i found what i'm about to teach you if you learn what i'm about to teach you now every time you are confused you will find your way out ready proverbs chapter 3 please from verse 5 learn this the third law the key to receiving divine strategies from God the key to receiving supernatural direction a way out of a, a situation that should eat you and destroy your life that when men say this is it there is no way out hear me people of God there is a way out if you know what to do it's found in Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 to 7 and it says trust in the Lord with all your heart right it says and lean not on your own understanding the next verse is where the key is in all your ways how many how many in all your ways it says acknowledge him what is the blessing behind that process and he shall direct <sighs> until that experience happens your part is crooked it says whenever you get to a point in your life where there is no way out humanly there is a key the key is to acknowledge him i know it looks simple until you apply it are we together let me tell you how to acknowledge someone i know that i've given this example but please say jimmy stand sir look at this if this guy is the ceo of a multi-billion dollar bank are we together and he has come in our midst right now and i want to introduce him listen let me show you how to acknowledge a man i would start something like this ladies and gentlemen in our midst today we are privileged to have a jimmy in 1998 he got award for most innovative entrepreneur in 1999 he got award for the most customer driven company in 2005 he i begin to list all his achievements listen are we together now and then i'll tell you look it's a privilege to have him here please everyone we cannot continue until we recognize this rare gem with a standing ovation celebrate this person i have acknowledged him let me tell you what that does it puts pressure on him to repeat what you just acknowledged are we together now i cannot say he got this award this award and i say please come and tell us good evening and then he comes up and blows his credentials have you seen people you honored come on stage and you see how they are under pressure to preserve the honor you have given them you're honoring and acknowledging them Put pressure on them to represent that's what you do to God so when I get to a crossroad where there is no way out and men say like David in Psalm 3 he said many a day that rise up against me many a day that say where is his God 
all of a sudden you forget about the problem and you say where is the god that parted the red sea with his nostrils you are acknowledging him are we together you start listing the things he did that's what david did to goliath where is the god that delivered me from the bear where is the God that delivered me from the lion? And he was putting pressure on the integrity of God. In other words, God, your name is about to go to the mud. And I am shouting it before men that you are the one that did it before. And all of a sudden, he shall make straight your path. That's what the Bible says. I show you a secret of endless victory. Because you see, as you rise... There are many people who will pray for your downfall. Not because they hate you. Your rise is equivalent to their failures. Because it kills every excuse. And so in their minds they will be hoping things will go bad. To justify that your success is nothing special. And at a point you will be at a crossroad. When you get to that point. Then you will open your mouth and begin to worship him. And call him all kinds of names. It's a secret I've learned. I will shut the door for one hour, two hours. I'm just worshiping him. And say, Lord, I thank you. I remember at so, so, so time when you came through for me. I will sing of your mercies. I remember the day when I did not have five naira. Is it today that I need one million that you cannot give me? I'm acknowledging him. I, I mount pressure on his integrity. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's what you should do. You mount pressure on God's integrity by acknowledging him before the forces of darkness. He healed you of HIV. Now cancer wants to destroy you. And people say, you know, I've always suspected this person was not healed. This koinonia, people just come and lie on stage here. HIV healed. Just like that. As if we are stupid, we went to school. Now cancer is eating you and you know humanly speaking that this cancer is progressing. Let me tell you how to deal with it. Forget about the cancer and go back and dance before God. Close your door. Call him all the names that will put pressure on him. I call you healer. Your name is healer. You are the healer to me. I call you healer. Your name is healer. Healer you are and healer you be. Listen, when you mount pressure on him, listen, you know, the way people behave sometimes, we behave as if God, you wrote an exam where you wrote nonsense and it came out A. Now you are in final year and your supervisor looks at you and says, if I'm in this department, you will not graduate. And you are about to depress yourself. No, go and lock the door and say in 100 level, where is the man that brought 3.5 for me? Regardless of this, oh God, listen, I'm not motivating you. I'm giving you a key to get out of confusion and make men swallow their words. I pray you believe what I'm teaching you because a day will come you will need it. Are we together? You are confused. Three years, no child. And everybody is talking. Saying if you, if you claim that you love God, where is the child? And then you sit down depressing yourself and say, but God, you self, Abba, am I not serving you? You will never get a miracle that way. There is a law. Lean not on your own understanding. He says, in all your ways, acknowledge, acknowledge, acknowledge. In one minute, can you open your mouth and acknowledge him? Mention the things he has done in your life before. Please, open your mouth. I survived cancer in 99. I survived financial crisis in 2007. Is it today? I will lack food to eat. Where is the God of heaven? If he gave me a husband, will he not give me a child? If he gave me a job, will he not give me promotion? If he granted me grace to graduate, will he not give me a job? If he gave me life, 
will he not change my genotype from SS to AA pray acknowledge him before Goliath my rent has expired by Friday if I don't pay they will throw me out Lord where are you last year at the dying minute my rent came I acknowledge you ah, yeah, 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 yeah. the mighty God you are the mighty God the great I am hallelujah hallelujah you are the mighty God you are the great I am Come on, acknowledge him before every trouble in your life. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Listen, when you grow in this law, there are some challenges you will not even pray about again. Because how do you start saying God is not faithful? When the challenges stand before you, there are too many testimonies to make you think about them. So what made you cry yesterday will no longer make you cry today. Listen, let me tell you. You know why men are bold in the kingdom? some of us are bold because we have gone through hell and high water i'm telling you there's nothing you can think about that we've not gone through so when it's like a man who has entered prison and came out entered prison came out entered prison then one day you tell him i'll take you to prison he'll just look at you and say you are joking go and ask your warder his name is philip ask him whether he knows joshua and at the end you have nothing listen satan thrives on your fear he knows that our memories are so short we forget too early he said bless the lord oh my soul and forget not his benefits please lift your voice in one minute to the shame of the devil and say lord you are faithful the marriage will still happen open your mouth and pray i will still be a landlord I will still hold my certificate. That job will still come. Kabarata shapata kata. Lekete preske lebaba. Supplies will come from heaven. Men may laugh at me, but there is a God that sits in heaven. Are you praying? It's part of the meeting. Challenge your fear. Don't run away from it. Who are you down mountain? Where were you when God healed me? I really want you to acknowledge him. I really want you to acknowledge him. Unchangeable, unchangeable God. Unchangeable, unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable, unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable, unchangeable God. Reliable God. Listen, 
open your mouth in one minute call that challenge by name and tell it i will walk upon you come on go ahead and pray don't be afraid call it by name look it in the eye and say barrenness one day you will be my testimony oh yes oh yes it doesn't come to kill hallelujah hallelujah god bless you please give god a shout of praise and sit down God bless you. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Take this key. Go back with it. And what challenges fear you? Fear you. Because you will find out that nothing is as big as it looks. Let me tell you, I've gone through too many things in my life to tell you no challenge can kill by itself until you direct the gun and shoot it at yourself i have confidence in you jesus i have confidence in you savior i have confidence in you anytime and any day i have confidence in you Jesus, Jesus, I have confidence in you, Savior. I have confidence in you. Let me tell you something. The next time you see men laughing at you, don't worry. There is already a scripture. He said, Rejoice not over me, my enemies. Rejoice not over me. Rejoice not over me, my enemies. He said, though I fall, yet I will rise. There is a mechanism in the kingdom that remedies for it. Aya. Jesus died, but he only died for three days. He had resurrected. Others were talking about his death. On his way to Emmaus, they were busy discussing the man who died. And he said, gentlemen, I'm already a, 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 a reason. This is outdated curriculum. That's how some people will sit down while they are discussing and saying, ah, this lady now, now wow, I don't know. Or while they are discussing, your text will just come. My God has done it again. The miracle worker has done it again. Please sit down. You see, it is this understanding that can make two people come again anybody come it is this understanding come that can make two people walk with me walk through life someone stands at a point where people say he cannot cross and another person continues going because there is something this guy knows they at a point they were at the same level but while this guy was praising his way to the next dimension this one was complaining listen let me teach you something the bible says in acts chapter 16 listen that paul and silas they held them bound four guards even if the chains break those guards will kill you the bible says they prayed and they sang it was allowed and the prisoners had them is it in your bible all of a sudden the Bible says there was an earthquake. It hit the prison. This is the part I like. It says, and all doors opened. How many doors? It's in your Bible. It says when they sang and the earthquake came, all doors opened. You can praise your way out of any pain. Lord, you are so good. You are worthy of all my praise. Lord, you are so good. You 
you are exalted as the Lord most high. Lord, you are so good. You are worthy of all my praise. Lord, you are so good. Just hurry up, sir. Sit down, sit down, sit down. So we'll hurry up. I tell you, this thing fired my spirit myself. So after 10 years, he's still rising. As if the devil does not exist. I watched a video of Bishop Oyedeko this morning preparing his congregation. That was before their 35th anniversary. 35 years of living as if Satan does not exist. And we had a ministration on Sunday. The 35th anniversary was this was the last Sunday. I made sure I streamed and I followed before I went for the meeting. While I was bathing, I took my laptop. It was streaming so that I would hear from the bathroom in our hotel room before I went out. Kenneth Copeland was preaching. And then I was listening. Before Kenneth Copeland came, they danced their way around the stage to the shame of the devil. And I saw his wife who once died but now alive. Dancing together, strong and alive. Our mother was dancing to the shame of the devil. When you dance before your enemy, you frustrate them. Please, stop wasting your tears. You have cried before every other person but God. I forbid you from crying before men. There is nothing you are going through that is new under the sun. Please hear me. Until you find the key that opens that door, you may remain in that captivity forever. Number what? The law of mastery and competence. Let's hurry up. Proverbs 18 verse 16. The fourth law I want to teach you, secrets of the kingdom. The law of mastery and competence. Proverbs 18 verse 16. The gift of a man makes room for him. Please come. I have to use them. Three of you, any three of you, just come. Watch this. I want to illustrate this scripture. Come. Watch this. Call this the table of greatness and the table of life. The space is already full. There is no space for anyone. Are we together? Anybody who must go to the table of greatness must show what he's taking along with him. So the Bible says, the concept of something for nothing is armed robbery. There must be something you must carry, your contribution to life. And here's how the Bible puts it. The gift of a man, watch this, will make room for him are you seeing that there was no space but your gift will push and create a space for you in life the key to mediocrity is to want everything and contribute nothing mediocrity and hardship in life stems from a mentality that wants everything done for you but with no contribution to life. Your relevance is tied to your contribution to the purposes of God and the betterment of humanity. Are we together? I was teaching at a Kingdom Wealth Summit in Joss and I said, any man that ever says preachers should not be rich, God will punish him. You know, there are people who especially when they look at some of us who are young they just say forget about all these young boys so they are all idiots just leave them they know what they are doing and they give an idea like these people are fraudulent they are drug barons they are this and that and that or 419 people no the measure of your worth and your greatness in life hear me please is tied to your contribution are we together you pay a carpenter 5,000 naira 
for fixing your door because that's how much you perceive his contribution to be but you pay a pilot 500,000 from the day he graduates he start collecting 500,000 you know why because 175 people are trusting their destinies for one hour and he's the one driving it and they are paying him and say you better make sure you read well to carry the destiny of presidents prime ministers royalties politicians flying is something that you can't do anything about you just pray if the pilot sleeps or he's careless or something happens you are gone so they pay him five hundred thousand for taking that risk when they are carrying out a neurosurgery you pay between 3.5 to maybe 8 million because of the enormity of what that doctor is doing are we together yes listen our rewards in life will always be in exact measure to our contributions and our service i know why god is blessing me as a preacher it's not because i'm preaching the gospel it's because i'm adding value to lives my value may be spiritual if you think it's easy to cast out devils try it if you think it's easy to look at a sick body and say be healed and he goes to the hospital and finds out that hiv has left him you do it let me tell you if your anointing is only for um children fruit of the womb is enough to employ you for your lifetime because that is that is a contribution now the question i want to ask you is every man can know where you stand by how much you are contributing is wickedness to demand millions when your contribution has not matched that level there's no point praying are we together yes as i stay in the secret place and i learn more about the mysteries of the kingdom i am equipped by grace to contribute more and as i contribute more different kinds of rewards come back now that's not my motivation that's why you don't pay me for teaching but whether i sell it or it's given free i am authorized to be rewarded listen your greatness in life is tied is a direct measure of your contribution if at any point in your life you are not satisfied with your level as far as greatness is concerned then it means you have to do something to your contribution whose life is becoming better because you are alive every day i get up someone's life is changing because i'm alive and you wonder why somebody will bless me is that no wickedness you type a letter for a man for one month he gives you hundred thousand you call yourself a secretary i'm changing the mindsets of people and changing the mindsets of their generation and someone sows one million and you say it's wickedness think about it and we have all these these junk people who carry typewriter carry their laptops and say men of god are wearing this and that and doing this and not doing anything because to them they think we're just joking on stage and the person who is talking did not sell his android device to give mission field but he's saying the man of god should sell his watch or his car let me tell you the fivefold ministry is secondary to no other ministry on earth the second most noble call after the call of ministry is the call of a monarch then presidents of whatever nation the president is only there for four years after four years he's stripped of his authority and relevance only a monarch is close to a true man of god irrelevance please make no mistakes to think genuine men of god are nuisance to society go to a seminar and find out how much you will pay for what i'm teaching you now and see the millions of naira that you will have to pay for your mindset being corrected and those guys do not have the grace the anointing equivalent to help you 
our greatness in life is not measured by connection it's measured by our contribution so you can know right where you are seated how far you are in life and not be angry when you see another person i've not slept i've not slept properly i think maybe in the last one or two weeks because we've been traveling it was about a week since i was in zaria we returned back yesterday returned back had to just take my bath and rush for school of ministry was with them till in the evening and i returned back this morning had a lot of things to do we are supposed to be off to the airport tomorrow to Ibadan. But then I was happy hearing that um, the program has been shifted. That's contribution, brothers and sisters. That's contribution. Echimi's wife made cake for me. She makes cakes. Beautiful cakes. That's her contribution. I will pay her because I cannot bake it. The day I'm tired of paying her, I learn how to bake it. Are we together? Let me tell you why many people are poor in the kingdom. You are not contributing anything. So whoever you must receive from, you have to give something. Are we together? Watch this. Please lend this. This is a little money. Let me use it for an example. I have this money. Watch this. This is life. Whoever can contribute to life must benefit from it. Financially and otherwise, I'm just using this to represent fulfillment. Are we together? Now, they pay me salary. Please give me back. They pay me... No, 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 no. Listen, listen. They pay me salary. Are we together? I'm not providing any service. So I go to someone to fix my car. He's contributing. He takes from the salary. I go to the market woman who had enough sense to risk herself and sit down in the market. I pay her. Are we together now? All kinds of things are happening to me. I now, because I'm not a practitioner of the word, I'm falling sick. I'm not typing. I think pastors are idiots. What happens? The devourer is destroying me. The remaining part of the salary goes to the doctor. Watch this. Are we listening? What is it to me? Nothing. This is a measure of how much I've contributed to life. Nothing. That's why it always finishes. Are we together? There's no magic about satisfaction and greatness. The day I create something that forces him to give me back my money, he will need it so he will come to me and give me back. Something I'm doing will make her bring it back. Something I'm doing will make it bring it back. What is that something? If you don't have it, stop wondering why you are poor. Our rewards in life, both in terms of money, honor, and the sense of fulfillment, is tied to your contribution. I will never feel inferior in life because if I do not carry any other thing, I have an anointing. I have an anointing that the nations need and they will need it forever. It is needed in the morning, the afternoon, and the evening. The precepts of the kingdom that have been communicated to me, there is a demand for it. That's why you are gathered here. That's why not even the rain took you back to your house. Are we together? It's a measure of how much you need this. Please hear me. Begin to sharpen your gifts and abilities and tell yourself, I'm rising to that position of greatness. I will take something in my hands that will veto my background and open the doors of greatness for me. Is God speaking to someone now? There are doctors here. The moment they graduate, for those who are student doctors, there is a job for them. Because the amount of frustration from disobeying the word of God has increased their market. In the, num the amount of tranquilizers that are consumed every time, high blood pressure now affects teenagers. Good business for doctors. Darkness shall cover the earth. What do you have? If I call you right now, please three of you stand up. One, two, three. And I tell you, what do you have to contribute to life that will make you relevant? It is wickedness to want to stand here with nothing to contribute. 
so i come to you and you give me the word of god and change my mind you are blessed i come to you and you give me a sense of leadership and innovation you are blessed i come to you and um maybe you solve my security problems and then you come to me and i said don't worry I'm, I'm here i mean it's just a, it's just a political thing that's wickedness listen your greatness is tied to your gifts the gift of a man when discovered when refined please sit down and when deployed will make room for him scriptures cannot be broken has nothing to do with background has nothing to do with age has nothing to do with gender has nothing to do with territorial limitations your gift has equal value in every territory i love people i admire them but not intimidated by any because the gift of god in me does not need refrigeration i don't need electricity for it to come up are we together if you go to the filling station and there's no light you will kill there because they need electricity are we together now if you want a photocopying machine and light goes off and there's no gen nothing for you but bring a demon possessed person whether i'm sleeping or I'm, I'm awake that spirit is living at that point bring somebody whose mind is messed up i can get him born again and teach him the precepts of the kingdom that's value you may not be called into the fivefold ministry are we together but your value will change the money in your hand your value will change everything in your life please write it down i have an assignment this week to discover every gift god has put in me and to serve my generation with that gift and exit myself out of the realm of inferiority and pain and competition we compete with ourselves we hate ourselves there's no need for that there is enough space in fact life is still needing great men are we together life is still needing great men there are people thank you there are people who are looking for this die hard there was a day we looked for this it never came i only wanted 30 naira out of this it didn't come because I was not contributing anything substantial. Yet I wanted to be blessed. It was against the law of God. But today it cannot stop coming to me. Even if I drive it, it will not go. Why? Value. For as long as there is one devil on earth, I will not be poor. For as long as there is one person's mind that needs to be straightened, it's called value. Please hear me. Do you know the Holy Ghost is within you and his presence makes you valuable? The presence of the Holy Ghost gives you the ability to provide supernatural solutions to different dimensions of life's problem. You should be fulfilled. But you watch how many men are frustrated in our society. They get up in the morning and they are angry. Bus conductors, civil servants who are angry going to do a job they don't like everybody angry we vent it at our husbands vent it at our wives on serious pastors vent it at their members we are going to stop here and pray the gift of a man makes room we'll continue next week please rise up and let's pray he's the holy ghost spirit of the living god He's the Holy Ghost, scepter of the King of Kings. He's the Holy Ghost, seal of the age to come. You're changing everything in obedience to God. Sing it one more time from the depth of your heart. You're the Holy Ghost. Of the living God, you're the Holy Ghost, scepter of the King of Kings. 
number one lord i'm leaving this level forever on the strength of the mysteries you are giving me lift your voice and pray i leave this level forever i leave this level forever there is a level of the anointing that i need to step into total surrender is the key to that level there is a level of relevance for the kingdom that I need to step into. Your value, your contribution is the key to that level. There is a level of transformation that I need in my life. The key is to be renewed in the spirit of your mind. To have your ideologies and paradigms change. Make sure you are praying. Sepras kalabaria kata branda sabara kata baria. Sepre kata teke rebatu shabar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like you to pray and say, Father, from tonight anything that exalts itself above you in my life no matter what it is i bring it down to its rightful place lift your voice and pray it could be ministry it could be business lord i come against that thing stopping the anointing from multiplying in my life stopping my ranking in the spirit Pray every idol taking the place of God in my life. I come against it. I come against it. I come against it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like you to pray and challenge every paradigm. He said, pulling down every stronghold, stronghold, something here is creating imaginary giants in your life. Something here is creating imaginary giants. When light comes, you will find out that it was never a giant. I like you to cry and say, Lord, beyond my culture, change my mind beyond my exposure as a Nigerian may your word challenge my paradigms my ideology that came from my failures that came from my background that came from my village my African uh, the, the fact that I'm, I'm a Nigerian the limitation that came with my territory As we behold him in a mirror we are changed we are changed from glory to glory hallelujah hallelujah the final prayer point you are going to call for every dormant gift in you some of you are sitting in an ocean but you are begging for a cup of water where is that gift that will end poverty in my life where is that gift that will end inferiority oh god reveal it in my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray that ability of the spirit our rewards in life will always be in a 
exact measure to our contribution our rewards in life will always be in exact measure to our contribution our rewards in life our rewards in life our relevance in life our greatness in life will always be in exact measure to our contribution Please lift your hands as I pray for you. Hallelujah. I've said it again and again. Koinonia will build you to, be, to become a complete kingdom ambassador. Not just that you are anointed and your finances are suffering. Not just that you are doing well financially and failing in relationships. Not just that you are doing well in relationships and failing intellectually. There can be complete balanced growth. You can be a multi-millionaire for the kingdom, yet not carried away by its influence in your mind. And you can be passionate about the kingdom and what it represents. Having a personal relationship with God and then excelling in family, excelling in leadership, becoming an agent of national transformation. It says, Savior shall arise out of Zion. And he said they shall judge the mount of Esau. I pray for you. In the name that is above all names. And by the power of the Holy Ghost. The kind of encounter. You have never had with the Holy Ghost. I pray in this season. Step into that level of encounter. Step into that level of encounter. Step into that level of encounter. An encounter that will take your prayer life your word life to a dimension you have never seen I release upon you the grace for that encounter number two I pray for you the level of transformation that it takes to crumble the Giants before you let me tell you many Giants we so honor are imaginary they are not real the level of transformation it takes for you to rise to a point where you do what has never been done in your family you do what has never been done in your lineage receive the grace for that kind of transformation in the name of Jesus Christ listen hear me that spirit that keeps telling you you have to be like them everybody was a failure you are also like them I like you to shout no way shout it no way listen my bible says when men say there is a casting down for you you will say there is a lifting up there is something you know that can take you out of your background the last prayer for you and i'm praying this from the depth of my spirit the hands that lifted you will uphold you to the end you will not be afraid listen hear me ordinary men found what god put in them and it changed the course of their lives this is one of the testimonies you probably would not need me except for what he has put in me like he did to me i pray whatever god must do to you to bring out that anointing that grace that illumination that will make you an international figure to the shame of the devil that anointing please lift your hand something is coming upon you now i want to release a grace get ready right now at the count of three the grace the unction right now receive it receive that grace now 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 right now Shabakata. receive that grace wherever you are inside outside an impartation let deep call on to deep that grace that grace your potentials your abilities the anointing of the holy ghost that distinguishes you 
in the name of Jesus I command it I command it I command it I release it right now right now I command it no more failure no more failure I take you out by prophecy out of the realm of mediocrity out of the realm of failure I speak over your destiny whoever has ignored your grace I stand under this apostolic anointing and I pray your life will force them to swallow their words they told Nathaniel can anything good come out of Nazareth I prophesy over someone here quarter to shame may your gift bail you out quarter to shame may your gift bail you out hallelujah lift your hands and give jesus thanks lord we give you thanks we'll continue next week there are still other powerful principles that I have to share with you. You know why I'm taking time to teach you this? Brothers and sisters, it says they are life to those who find them. When you find it and grace is applied upon you to walk with it, you will, you will be afraid of what your life will become. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Very quickly. I know that our time is spent but just be patient in about five minutes we're done please all those worshiping with us for the first time aside from our daddy and mommy i'd like us to honor them these are david dam's parents thank you thank you thank you sir thank you ma hallelujah praise the lord let me say something it's a little secret the first time i met them i was blown away by the warmth the love i mean when you meet them you don't want to get out of that environment again i'm telling you i met them in joss and i was looking at david Dam, and in my mind i said no wonder no wonder this guy is this confident and happy who would not be confident with parents like this some of us escape jungles we climb high waters rebuke statements that should not be said to be where we are today but when you have parents this loving they deserve double honor bless you ma bless you sir thank you hallelujah please aside from them all those who are worshiping with us for the first time um i'd like you to come here quickly okay before we do that just give me one minute where are all the abuja people please come up quickly so that you receive fresh fire for the next level please quickly in one minute let's honor them let's celebrate them we're one big family there's no space they can come up here please quickly quickly we have five minutes to be out of here stretch your hands everyone and pray for them please come up just our abuja people first just come up line up here quickly you came all the way with a desire in your heart let me pray for you please quickly quickly in one minute so that we can pray when Saul met Samuel, he was never the same. Please pray in one minute. You are about to receive something you will take back by the grace of God. You will step into a strange level of grace. As I lay my hands on you, an anointing will come upon you. Please, I want you to believe it. Something is already happening to you. There is a strong presence of angels here. Hallelujah. At time, hold your hands together and lift it up. Let me pray for you. Please lift it up high to the heavens. I'm about to release an anointing upon you. Let this anointing take you to new levels. At the count of three. One, two, three. Fire. Take it. Take it. Take it. I lay hands on you. Take it right now. 
fire take it right now 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 fresh fire fresh fire upon you in the name of Jesus go to your campus set it on fire in the name of Jesus Christ I activate upon you the presence of God that is upon this house carry it physically right now right now carry it physically that mantle that mantle that mantle that is upon this house I release it upon you that mantle that is upon this house I release it upon you go with it and excel you reign you reign well, Lord, you reign you reign you reign and you reign you reign you reign you reign you reign you reign hallelujah I call you blessed in the name of Jesus every miracle you came here desiring it is yours right now in Jesus name those who can rise take them to their seats those who cannot just leave them here we're about to round up please God bless you appreciate them please quickly if they are under the anointing just leave them just give me five minutes quickly I needed to do this to honor them they came all the way so that they can take something tangible koinonia is a place of encounter hallelujah you're worshiping with us for the first time aside from them now any other person worshiping with us for the first time please make your way to the front here the altar is congested but make your way to the front hallelujah you are the first to come so i will lay hands on you i will lay hands on the rest receive that fire right now in the name of the lord jesus christ grace for you please every other person make your way to the front there's a reason why we ask you to come it's not to waste your time believe me there is a grace when you come here you just need to come once and that grace must speak in your life Stretch your hands, saints of God. This is Koinonia, a place of encounter, a place of miracles, a place of breakthrough. God is doing supernatural things. The kingdom of God has been allowed to find expression in this territory. Pray for them. The people praying for you are anointed. I want you to receive it. We bless you with the favor that is upon this house. We bless you with the gift of access. We bless you with intimacy grace to know God grace to love God grace to be so passionate about spiritual things that nothing in this life can take the place of God receive that grace in the name of Jesus hallelujah thank you for coming once again this is koinonia hallelujah listen please this is not our usual venue we meet at Christ Gospel Church just opposite second equa from next week we'll be back there you're welcome to worship with us again and again at the end of the service a media stand is just right um, by my right here 
you together with all those who have come from far please go to our media stand update your collection of our teachings and you can take them back be a blessing to others and then be blessed by them the lord bless and honor you the lord increase you in the name of jesus i'd like you to quickly follow the young lady waving her hands we are going to welcome you more warmly outside and have your details the lord honor and bless you honor them koinonia in the name of jesus bless them as they go this way please dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline